We've really got into a disturbing world now where five people are about to be charged with spying, five people from Harrow, from Great Yarmouth, from Norfolk, and they've been spying for Russia, apparently, allegedly, and are going to a magistrate's court shortly. It's disturbing that we've got to this point where we've got spying allegations uh, and um, espionage stories involving Russia, involving China, involving foreign powers, uh, whether this is to seize advantage in terms of trade or whether this is to seize advantage in terms of the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. The real problem is that we have become a country in transit and a country that is, I think, perceived to be uh, at sixes and sevens. And we shouldn't be greatly surprised uh, that we are now a target of the bigger powers and we, we, we are the underbelly of the West. We are the weak point, the point of entry. And on the one hand, we have the migrant crisis. On the other hand, we have the espionage crisis and these two things. I don't think we should be greatly surprised that they've occurred together. Uh, now, I know the comment section likes everybody to be very tribal and likes to suggest that I'm all for open borders. I'm not. I'm all for following international law. And if international law isn't working for us, then we need to do something about it. And we can't just go it alone. Going it alone is not the way forward in the 21st century. We are not an island set apart. Um, and what we do influences the rest of the global community. And as I say, we are currently becoming a very, a very weak pin in that relationship. And that is to our disadvantage.